Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to determine the point at which the graph of a function has a horizontal tangent line. The function's a little bit challenging. It's got some transcendentals in it. f of x equals 5e to the x sine x, and we're looking at the interval from 0 to pi. So we're only going to find a point in the interval from 0 to pi where this function has a horizontal tangent line. Now whenever we see horizontal tangent line, we want to be thinking where is the slope of the tangent line going to be 0? Because horizontal lines have a slope of 0. So that means that our first challenge is to find the derivative of the function. In another video, I demonstrated how to find the derivative of this function, which turns out to be 5e e to the x times the cosine of x plus the sine of x. You can follow the link to see how that derivative is worked out. For this exercise, once you've found that the derivative of f of x is 5e e to the x times cosine of x plus sine of x, find where that derivative is equal to 0, for which x values in the interval from 0 to pi. So let's go ahead and set up the equation 0 equals 5e e to the x times cosine x plus sine x. When you multiply two numbers together and you get 0, that means that one of them had to be 0. So either 5e e to the x is equal to 0 or cosine of x plus sine of x is equal to 0. Now remember, e is really just 2.7-ish. So is it possible to raise 2.7 to a power and get 0? No, that's never going to happen. So we can disregard that possibility. Let's come over here to cosine of x plus sine of x equals 0. One way to solve this equation is to subtract one of the trig functions over to the other side. So cosine of x equals negative sine of x. I would encourage you to think about your unit circle and think about where the cosine of x is actually the opposite of the sine of x. So that would be one way to solve the equation. However, I think the more common way is to actually divide both sides by one of these trig functions. That's the, the approach that I'm going to take. So if I divide both sides, for example, by cosine of x, keeping in mind, by the way, that when you divide by cosine of x, you're disregarding the possibility that the cosine of x is equal to 0. Assuming cosine of x is not equal to 0, what we're saying is that 1 is equal to the opposite of the tangent of x or in other words, that tangent of x is equal to negative 1. Well, let's think about our unit circle and where we have tangent of x equal to negative 1. We have a little help here because we were told that we're only considering angles between 0 and pi, and that's the first and second quadrants. Now we know everything is positive in the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, the tangent is negative, and specifically, we know that the reference angle pi over 4, 45 degrees, goes through the pair of coordinates negative root 2 over 2 comma root 2 over 2. So our y over x, or our tangent value, would be negative 1. This is going to be the angle 3 pi over 4. The solution in the interval from 0 to pi for this equation is 3 pi over 4. Now going back to this idea that by dividing both sides by cosine of x, we were disregarding the possibility of cosine of x equaling 0, where would the cosine of x be 0? Cosine of x would be 0 at pi over 2, but would the cosine of pi over 2 plus the sine of pi over 2 equal 0? Well, the cosine of pi over 2 is 0, but the sine of pi over 2 is 1, which does not equal 0. So this would not have given us a solution to that equation. So the only solution is x equals 3 pi over 4. So we were asked to determine the point at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line. Let's go ahead and find the y-coordinate f of x. f of 3 pi over 4 is 5e to the 3 pi over 4 times the sine of 3 pi over 4. Now remember, the sine of 3 pi over 4 is the y-coordinate root 2 over 2. So this is 5 root 2 over 2 e to the 3 pi over 4. The pair of coordinates are 3 pi over 4 comma 5 root 2 over 2 times e to the 3 pi over 4. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it. Also, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below.